Hey, welcome back to the Pokemon Casino. Hope everyone is having a great week or as good of a week as you can have because it is Friday. Weekend is right around the corner and we got another price check. We haven't had a price check for a while. And if you're new to this, price check is going over some of the top cards in previous release sets. And this week we got Matchless Fighters. So this set was released March 19th earlier this year. And I think if you're comparing to an English set, it's best compared to say Chilling Rain. And so you got some of those amazing cards from the Chilling Rain set as part of Matchless Fighters. But before we dive deeper into this set, please remember to hit subscribe. Help me grow the channel. We're over 130 subs already. And with your help, we can grow even quicker and faster and it keeps me motivated to go. But that's all for my spiel. Let's get into the content. So as you can see, recent transactions on eBay for booster boxes of this set are going for around 80 to $90. Uh, so in each set, you get 30 packs and in each pack, you get five cards. Uh, and in each box, you're basically guaranteed one secret card. And there's about, I would say, 30 secret cards that you can get here. So let's dive into what would be some of the best cards in here and what you sort of need to pull in order to make up that 80 to $90 cost of a booster box. So at number 10 and number nine spot, we got Avery and Galarian Zapdos. So Avery is the first full art trainer that we see in this part of this price check. It's going most recently for $31. As part of that price prediction, I don't think it's a very sought after card. It was not a popular character. It's not a waifu card at all. So 31 seems pretty respectable, I think. I think the art is pretty cool with the hovering Pokeballs around his head. But that's for number 10. For number nine, we got Roadrunner. Beep beep. For those of you that don't know Roadrunner, I'll pop it up on a screen. It's an old cartoon, but that's basically what Galarian Zapdos reminds me of in this alt art. And it's only going for $33, but I guess it's because it's not that fantastic of an artwork. I suppose that people don't want it that much, or it's not really playable within the TCG meta either. So $33, there's not much demand for it. It's been out for a while. I guess it's gonna stay there for now. Not sure. But number nine, and I can't believe it sort of beat out Zapdos. We got Galarian Snow King here at $35. I don't know about this one. It reminds me a bit about the Giratina all art with like all the different colors, but I don't think it's as nice to be frank, but that's just my own opinion in terms of how this is drawn. It's not very attractive to me. I don't think it deserves to be above the Zapdos. I think the Zapdos being a Galarian bird uh, one of the three legendary birds should be higher. So I would say that this should go down just because I would think the Zapdos would be in more demand over time for it. But at number seven, we got our first female trainer card. Not really like a female trainer because it's like not just the character, but it's Karen's conviction uh, and not just Karen, for example. But this was at $37, so pretty respectable. I don't think it's that playable within TCG. Karen doesn't seem to be very popular as well, so I guess it'll stay around that point. But at number six, we got one of the favorite Galarian birds. We got Articuno in its alt art form at only $42. So I think for Articuno being such a popular Pokemon within the, the TCG or just Pokemon in general, I think this one deserves to go up. Uh, for me, the art isn't like outstanding. It's not staggering. So I could see why it's probably not in demand, but if you can see, there's like a Chincho, uh, not, not a Chincho, there's a, another Pokemon in the background in like the middle right side and in the bottom left as well. So whenever they incorporate other Pokemon, it's a pretty nice, neat little design, I think. But at number five, we got a utility card. So basically fighting energy gold one, and that's going for $44. So these, gold cards these utilities tools etc all tend to be around this price point i find like 30 to 50 dollars us and it's because it's people would want them in decks to use if they're you going to be using a fighting deck for example it's a bit of a flex it's sort of nice to have in a collection if you have all the gold uh 
cards for all the energies. So I could see why, but I think it'd be stable. I don't think there's really much of a push on why it would go up unless there's a future meta deck that has fighting Pokemon in it that you need Pokemon energy. And then this might go up for a little blip, but then probably come back down again. But at number four, we got one of my favorite Pokemon, Snorlax, the gold one, and he's a shiny. He's going for $56, which I think is a pretty great price for him, to be honest, just because he's one Snorlax. Everyone loves the little, uh, not the little, the big guy. Uh, and he's a shiny one, right? He's, a, he's actually the shiny variant in this one. He's a darker blue tint. So I think it's a great price for him, though I think it's stable because I guess people, if you want him, you could just get him. Uh, $56 is not too cheap either, to be frank. Uh, so it seems like a fair price there. But at number three, we got one of the most hyped cards as part of Chilling Rain and in this Matchless Fighter set as well. We got the Blaziken VMAX. And this one is going for a hefty $242. So quite the jump from card number four to number three over here. And I think everyone loves how it's Blaziken VMAX. And then there's a bunch of different Pokemon sort of dancing and partying with him on the rooftop. Uh, it's the entire Inteleon family, basically, right? And the Inteleon family has been such a, or such has been such a deep impact within the TCG, and you can incorporate in so many decks. So it's sort of uh, nice to see them in there. But this one is two hundred forty-two dollars. Wow, pretty pricey for a card. I guess it would be stable. I don't see it going up much further, to be honest. After having been out, I think there's a lot of alt art cards that other people would want to get. But now, before we go to number two, we're gonna go to some honorable mentions as well. We got another utility card here, Fan of Waves. Unfortunately, not really useful in many decks from what I understand, so it's going for $16. And then the next one up at the number, I guess, 11 or 12 spot it would have been is the Full Art Galarian Moltres V. So that one's only $24 and a fantastic looking, fantastic looking Full Art, I have to say so. Uh, $24, still a bit expensive, I think, for a full art card for me to consider to buy part of my, uh, to be part of my deck just because uh, money is tight. So there you go. We had these honorable mentions, but at number two spot, who is it? We got the real waifu character card. We got Clara out here and she is $242. So a pretty expensive one, cheaper than say the Serena's out recently or the Candace's I think, or around that same price as Candace. But Clara, this is the waifu card of the set. If you get this one, you definitely cover the cost of buying this booster box for $80 to $90. And if you want to see where that break point was, it's basically here. You have to basically get a Blaziken in order to make that $80 to $90 back. And just to let you guys know, I bought a couple of these boxes, which is sort of why I'm selfishly doing this price check as well. So we'll see what we can pull and see if we can make our money back basically. But we have to make one of these top three pulls to, in order to do so. So what is the number one card in this set? And I'm sure you could have guessed it if you knew Chilling Rain. And it is the Galarian Moltres V special art secret rare and this is a fantastic looking card i think it is the best looking card in matchless fighters in chilling rain just spectacular it's basically moltres right above a forest it's flying around and there's a lot of like different haunted pokemon within the trees that it's flying above i think this card looks fantastic i did manage to pull this one in chilling rain myself so i was super excited about it but i'm hoping in the two boxes that I got, I'll be able to also pull the Japanese version. That'd be great. So why don't you guys let me know what you think about this week's price check, which card did you like the most, and which one would you hope to pull? Thanks so much. If you will be opening up cards, I wish you guys great RNG. Remember to hit subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.